traditional American music. It would probably be like uh, folk music. Uh, we have what big band music. We had uh, jazz was American music. It's it, we have. Um, so this is all African American music, right? Jazz and big band. That's like African. Well, the, hey, big band right? music is not African American music. Okay, of course it Dude. was. Come on. No, it wasn't. Big band big music band is stuff. literally like John blues Phillip and jazz Sousa, and Like, uh, hold on, hold on. This is African American no, 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 culture. No. Is that what you're John saying? John Philip Sousa wrote marches. That's not a big band. Hold on. Just I just want to be really clear so you don't embarrass yourself. Okay. Big band does not mean you have a big band playing of the songs. Big band refers to a, a type of like jazz or swing that you'd go and listen to and like dance and stuff. Right? You're talking to somebody who's a musician and uh, you know actually did play jazz and uh, all okay. sorts of stuff. Okay. I promise you that you are not a musician. Uh, each instrument, from a trumpet to a violin, produces its own unique quality of sound called timbre, which the music ear. It's not timber, it's timbre. Like Wait, you, you actually have no background in music. No, you're actually it says lying timber. to me. Would you put uh, Moby Dick in the same category as Harry Potter? I, I wouldn't that they're both literature. literature. Yeah, they're literature. Do you think people are going to be reading Harry Potter a hundred years from now like we read Moby Dick? Nobody listens no, to opera not. now, dog. Literally, no, nobody not. cares it, about opera. You know, you know, <laughs> what do you okay, mean? What? Wait, no, 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 wait. You're, you're telling me, like, it's important to see what people are currently listening to? Do you think people are walking into opera houses? Ironically enough, the only people that do are probably the Jewish people that I'm sure you're going to spend the majority of this podcast attacking. Like, come on, dude. Who wait seriously, who seriously is blasting classical music and their fucking mm. Ford Focuses, like, driving down the street and their Honda Civics? Like, come on. You're not seriously going to make this argument to me. Is jazz a derivative, a lower derivative of the waltz what do you mean because a lower you derivative could, it's a simplification and a judaized version of the waltz no it's, ja it's the there's waltz nothing without the order no the, no what the, waltzes are incredibly simplistic harmonically speaking compared to the rich textures that you can find in in jazz i mean like what are you talking about come on no no do, wait no, no come on no no hold on i'm, I'm gonna be fair to you i think we there's, should no, order no, 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 to, there's no order there's no order to jazz music there, what do you mean there's by no order? order define order jazz music is not ordered like music what do you it, mean it by order have... define order it does. It's made up on the go. No, it's not. That jazz music is made up on the go. That's no, why it sounds not. so stupid. What are you talking about? Jazz music is all. That's not. First of all, it's not a made tonal. Up. It's not. It's not a tonal either. There is a tonal center to the majority of jazz music, and it's not made up on the go. It, jazz music is highly structured. Maybe you're mistakenly referring okay. to the idea that there are improvisation sections to a lot of jazz music. But guess That's what? To a lot. About. Yes, a lot well, of the class. If you've actually listened. Right. Well, no, 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 no. Having improvisational sections doesn't mean it's made up on the go. And also, a lot of classical music had improvisational sections as well, but people that listen to it, like you, that don't actually understand the origins of it, don't know that. A lot of the repeated passages that you hear in classical music, in the past, piano players would have actually been expected to improvise new passages there. But it doesn't happen anymore because classical music is seen as more of a museum than an actual modern day like evolution of music. We Just can the see stuff. the types of music that people torrent on classical websites, or the types of music that people downloaded on Kazaa and Napster. There's not this massive thirst for classic and romantic era compositions like you seem to think there are among the normal ordinary people. The reality is is that people's musical tastes update over time like your taste for all art, whether it's film, whether it's literature, um, whether it's music, it just changes over time. This idea that you want to fetishize some arbitrary selection of dates doesn't make any fetishize. sense. I'm so, sorry. so if if you if you consider if you consider high culture in a in a different category, what does high culture mean to you? Why is that music high culture? You don't know what today? great literature is. Well, what is the great the, the canon of great literature? Great. No, Western no, 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 literature. no. Let's let's talk about music. What do you, why what why is, do you think some music is high culture I, I, and other music? I'm curious. You said what is high culture? <sighs> then I then I give you an example. And you say no. Let's talk about music. Well, because we're talking high, about high music culture. and you are bringing it up in relation to music, so I want to talk about music. So tell me, what does high culture music mean to you? I'm curious. High culture. High culture is classical music. It's stuff like that. Why? What makes it high culture? What do you mean? What makes it high culture? You realize it's that every argument music, you're giving now, that in like the romantic music, era, that if you if you train your ear to listen to it, and it, you're, if you're, it, it's almost like eating food, right? If you spend your whole life eating spaghettios, you probably can't enjoy a, a, a better meal, right? Because your if palate. If this is the argument that you want to make, you so realize... you have to train a man's palate 
for classical music in some cases. No, you don't. Most and classical, we don't no, do no, no, that no. In That's, this, this is not this true. I encourage anybody right now listening to go and download any number of Mozart or even Haydn pieces. You can understand these and listen to these immediately. They're just boring. Do you think they're great? No, oh, they're boring. You find them boring? Okay. Of course. Compared to I the mean, type of music that we have available is, today, the selection the of instruments, they, our, 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 har our harmonic vocabulary has massively expanded compared to what they had in the 1800s <clears> and in the 1900s. Yeah, of course. Massively expanded. So, like, some 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 black guy talking fast over a four over four beat is considered massive expansion. Is, it, is every beat just Lavin. a four? It, it, how, what do you think are the rhythms of most like classical songs? You you talk about waltzes. Do you think the rhythms there in a waltz is complicated? Like what you're making what fun I'm of a saying, four over four beat? Like wow, you've got three, four, and six, eight. Like oh, it's so much more complicated. Like, what I'm saying is that what you say is an expansion. It, it's true that four over four beats were common. Uh, in classical music, but there's also different other other types, other types of tempo. The point I'm making is that cla within the classical realm, there are many different types of doing classical music. You know, how many times? I mean, why do you think rock music is like basically played out now? Like people don't listen to rock music anymore. What are you Part talking of it, about? Progressive rock had like a pretty massive upswing sure, in like the early 2000s. I'm not, sure, like, listen, <laughs> listen, stop being pedantic. You know what I'm I mean? I'm not being pedantic. You're just making You turn on the radio. Oh, you want to talk about All right, look, 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 okay, sure. look. We can talk about music all show, and I actually didn't yeah. stop it because I'm entertained by this. Other people. Well, sure. I, I just so like I, I'm just I'm yeah. happy okay. that we we'll open. Finish, let's sure. I'm happy finish that we up this segment. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm just ahead. I'm happy that we open with this topic so that I kind of have like an understanding of how absolutely disingenuous like every other cultural argument is going to be. Like this, like for anybody that's listening that has any musical background at all, everything you said is laughable. Like you talk about the necessity to train an ear to hear something. The amount of ear training required to follow like Coltrane's later pieces versus like fucking Mozart pieces is hilarious. Like you need oh, so God. much more ear training to follow any complicated jazz composition like the harmonies in that are almost impossible to follow versus classical music like that's hilarious hey, anytime somebody says hey, my name three times again, I man. show up on a show so what's <laughs> going on here there's a lot of drama going on in this platform yeah what the hell that's what I hear bro what have you heard I'm hearing all sorts of crazy shit but Talk to us. the streets is I'd talking. imagine well, what's up? You guys were so talkative. What happened? Go ahead, bro. Come on. Tell me what they're saying. I was muted the whole we, time. Everybody <laughs> wants to know what Destiny thinks, you know? We're, we're waiting with bated breath. Oh, wait, wait. Think about what? I've heard so many random things. I don't even know where to start. What's the what's the conversation topic? Okay, so generally speaking, we're talking about... Let Brittany... Yeah, no, no, Brittany, no, no, where do you want to go with this? No, I'll let me go, me go with that one. All right. Well, generally speaking, we're talking about... Uh, sort Did of I hear the, this for the fourth time? Okay. <laughs> what? It's going to be the first time happening? for Destiny, okay? Okay, it's okay. Well, right. I'm, I'm not well, talking about, like, BPF or who anything. Who let I'm that talking. woman speak? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to f***ing abort you, just Todd. Just chill. Just just yeah. chill, okay, champ? If you, you know, deep breaths, calm down. It'll be okay. Um, so, essentially, we're talking about what the conversation that you had with Sanzo the other day. Uh, well, the same topic. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, you know, like, deplatforming people who you disagree with. Uh, it's it, how you said it it's, doesn't seem to be working at combating their views effectively. And if you have a problem with people with, with views that you see as what problematic, then you should just uh, like do a better job at defeating their arguments. Maybe learn more, do some research, find someone with better rhetoric that can actively combat them better than you. Um, whereas, you know, there's a, I don't know if you saw, but just um, like immediately after that, the next day or something, Sanzel had Vosh on his screen. And, uh, you know, Vosh, you know, he's always got nice things to say about you. On his but, screen uh, or on his stream? On his stream. But, oh, like he actually and, went to talk to him? Interesting. Yeah, okay. Vosh, he and Vosh uh, had a conversation on stream right after that, mm -hmm. where Vosh, uh, you know, basically, I think he said kind of the opposite of you, which is like, you know, we, we should only platform people in a context in which we're sure that our side can win. And other than that, it's like, you know, anybody who's espousing any anything like, further than Joe Biden to the right just basically shouldn't be allowed to talk because it can if you allow right wingers and left wingers to be in the same spaces the right wingers are going to win and so you just can't allow that to happen so that's we have these two takes and and it seems like Sanzel after that stream he was sort of on the fence he's torn because he says my natural inc inclination is to agree with destiny it's like I like having these these intense you know conversations and debates with people and, and arguments but I also understand that there there may be some utility in what Vosh said, even though 
you know, you can't implement something like that on a macro scale without mass censorship on both sides. And, and he's kind of torn. And, and I think that this may be a, a, a something that people on the left should, uh, you know, begin discussing because it, it seems like there's sort of, a, you know, two, two thoughts that people ho- are holding in their heads on the same time when it comes to the, the deplatforming and censorship issue. Yeah, we have a lot of people coming for our for our platform, basically. Well, why don't Brittany, you explain at what point do you feel is crossing the line? Like, uh, do you what at what point on your you channel know, would you, you know, be really like? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> at what point, like, would you? Is it my quiet now? Is it better? Yep, you're good. It's better. Okay, sorry. <laughs> At what point would you like? Um, would you say okay? Um, like, we won't allow this. Maybe like explain that better I well I I think I went through the rules and um whatever is against those rules those 10 rules that we pulled up and you know the slurs were getting the slurs under control with the bots and um I think that was like our biggest issue but I'm I want people that are going to be out of their echo chamber to have a space where they can do that as long as they are not you know going against any of those rules basically but um I mean I just don't know if people are I think they conflate our show and our discord a bit and our discord was overtaken. I told people that I had planned on getting the discord under control. They, I guess just, it wasn't fast enough. So that was, uh, I think one of the biggest issues that happened there, but um, I don't think that we've done anything that, I don't know. I think it's, it's been coming from a bit, bit of a bad place, but I don't know. Destiny, what, how much have you heard on this? I just see a bunch of random shit from everything, but I don't know what anything is. I, I have no idea. Yeah, well, I don't we have had, like, any uh, strong opinions. So. Well, yeah, well, BPF, um, he's left, and he obviously saw that they <laughs> posted all those. Um, oh, yeah, so things. let's go through that. What happened to BPF? So basically, um, <laughs> when Mio came around, BPF wanted this to be the BPF show. And so when he, um, when Mio came around and was kind of giving BPF a run for his money on, you know, Mio's a pretty good debater, um, which... Also, we need to actually schedule that one-on-one debate. Um, so, but um, uh, he's a pretty good debater, and Andrew did not like the fact that that was happening. He even said, um, "I said that you guys can be a good team," and um, he said that uh, this wasn't supposed to be a team thing. He didn't want any other in-house uh, right-wing debaters. So he used some kind of bullshit excuse on why he was leaving, but it was after the night that you came on. And okay, wait, let's, that's an important part. So I've heard that BPF claims that mm-hmm. Mio like doxed his wife. That's no, pretty, no. pretty his big claim. claim. Was, his claim was that Jangles what doxed the? his wife. Oh, okay. Jangles yeah, doxed that, his that's wife. Also not true, but that's also not true. Somebody, somebody, a random account that was called I Dox with like one follower um, posted under one of our debates uh, was doxing his wife. We all went after it. We all reported it and um, everybody. So it was nothing to do with jangles. It was nothing to do. Nobody knew who this person was. I didn't even know what happened. Yeah. So he's uh, he needed a different excuse basically on why um, he was leaving when it was when in reality, reality was like one of those like I'm not. Um, you're not going to break up with me. I'm going to break up with you type of things. So that's kind of a, what happened there. Um, and then he decided, he said that it was going to be on neutrally. We were going to just go our separate ways. He wasn't going to do anything. He wasn't going to come after the show. And then um, he went after, he went to the one person that has been openly trying to take our show down, has been um, talking about mass reporting our server, has been talking about mass reporting our show. Um, and he went and sent all these messages thinking it was going to be some kind of epic own that he's going to get us there. When most Okay, of wait, something is isn't, so I've talked to this guy a few times. So right. Something isn't, something is not being represented in the best way. So you're mm-hmm. saying that he, just because he's mad that Mio is a good debater, he wanted mm-hmm. to destroy everything here. Yeah. So it's not exactly the, the the reason behind that is that uh, he believes that Groifers are wrong in our opinions. He thinks that our opinions, when it comes to like uh, you know demographics, are so problematic that we're it's our Achilles heel that you're gonna get us and and strike us all down on. And only he has the rhetorical answers to this. And by allowing Groifers to speak on this platform, which he's put so much effort into growing, so that mm-hmm. he can you know, uh, debate the, the issues like and, and the rhetoric he wants. 
um, allowing us to speak here is going to make this show associated with far right white supremacist ideas or something, which which I don't even hold. Well, one, of and, um, also, one of the things that we also do is we have, um, you know, debate libraries. So we will interview anybody that wants to do debates and we have a left wing and a right wing library. And so we'll match people up and we do match people up based on their skill level. Like I'm not going to put somebody that is brand new up against, you know, somebody like BPF or Mio. I would have them on their skill level and kind of work their way up to them. And so, but he didn't want any other right wing debaters. He wanted it to be the BPF show. He wanted it to where we just bring on liberals. Okay, hold on. Let's be clear real quick, just because okay. I'm trying to, I've got to see through the bullshit. Okay. Because everybody's got okay. their side of the story. So okay. when you say he didn't want any other right wing debaters, he did he really it. say he didn't want any right wingers or he didn't want any yes. groipers? No, he said he didn't want the only right wing debaters we needed was him and Rachel. We didn't need anybody else. But meanwhile, his head got a little bit big after debating uh, you and Bosch and he didn't want to just debate anybody at that point. So I'm like, no, we do need other right wing debaters. They are not debating everybody. And we have a lot of liberals that want to do debates. And um, he once once Mio was coming around, though, he he was pretty open about it. He actually uh, messaged me that, you know, he was uh this has been about Mio. I knew it was about Mio because I know how he operates, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then Big Papa Fash got kicked out, I guess, and now he's he, upset. No, he left on his own. He left on his own. Oh, he left he on quit. his own. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we don't kick anybody out. We yeah. don't kick anybody out. They end up leaving. Yo, where is the bro? fucking deposit box, so, guys? For the fucking bank here. I know there's a stupid Excuse deposit me, pole. Destiny? Sorry, I was asking a question. Um... Okay. Okay, so then what's so why is everybody so mad now? So what's the issue right now? So Samantha well, is okay, running so around trying to get you guys. Okay, so here's what happened with that. So we had like a huge influx of um, people that came into our server last week, mm -hmm. and we, we're still a small server. It was like 350 people. We haven't really needed much moderation, but we did have a huge influx of people and probably some uh, some questionable people. Questionable people. We got Doobie to um, become an admin in our server so he could help us with the bots get the slurs under control which is um which has been helping quite a bit actually but before that we didn't really need any moderation so she came to me and basically uh told me that you know we needed to get the server under control and i said that i planned on doing that um but in some ways i also think that she was kind of wanting to she want, it was hinting that she wanted us to mod her and she was hinting that she almost wanted to produce our show. She was like, yeah, well, I moderate or I produce everything on Twitch except for Destiny, Bosch, and you guys. And that I that she wanted to be um, a mod in our server. And I don't know, maybe I wasn't taking that and she didn't like that. So um, she decided that <laughs> she was, I was going to be an enemy, I guess. I don't know. And yeah, she's been coming for us. She went and for somebody who doesn't want us to be platforming and having these people to go in and tell pretty much every single liberal that can adequately um, defend positions against some of these right wingers, why would you tell them all to leave? Why would you try to make sure that they're not going to be going up against these right wingers? Because then now you're turning it to the echo chamber you're claiming you don't want. Yeah, so it seems uh, like when you do the online shit, it's always going to be some kind of echo mm -hmm. chamber. Wait, do you want to bring Samantha on here to chat? I'm really curious to hear you two have this disagreement. <laughs> you guys said you welcome everybody, right? I want to hear it. I'm curious now. I'll I'll um, I'll just be sitting in the middle. I just I'm kind of curious. Sure. Oh fuck. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I've, well, I've got some popcorn myself. Right Banana called me genocidal on Sanzo's stream. Yeah. In stream um... or in chat or anything to defend myself against those uh, allegations that I'm openly genocidal, which I'm not. So that was uh, that was kind of fun. It's it's cool that when it's um, you know it's, it's a any space that banana can have control over, it's going mm -hmm. to be you know I, I can say whatever I want, however like dangerous accusations against people I want to make. That's totally fine. And then I'm gonna go on their neutral platforms, which I'm trying to get taken Ooh. down. And then uh, you know just talk about something else. You know sure. I think that's and kind I of. And I actually I had said like after our Thursday stream where we kind of cleared up a lot of this stuff, I said to her that I would be willing to have a conversation with her off stream. I thought I was kind of uh, de-escalating it a bit, but then all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, she posts this uh, crazy little. I don't know how much time she spent doing that. It's a little weird. You know about the text messages? You know that there's like some text messages out there, right? He knows that part, right? Okay. Well, but I, I don't know that's why. That's kind of so. BPF, I guess, launched some text messages. He's so, persona non grata. Everybody else, we can chat with. Damn. Okay.
Samantha has 30 to 45 minutes left of her charity thing. I don't know if she'll come on for that, but that would be interesting. Um, what, wait, so wait, I have a wait, question. Yeah. I have a question. Do you think it's dangerous to uh, to just could just call somebody genocidal to to make people believe that somebody's genocidal? You think that could lead to uh, violence or danger or? Uh, something yeah, I would like say that? that's certainly a bad thing. I mean, like to be one hundred percent frank, though, like you're super white nationalist, right? I'm. I, I, well, I never said I'm a white nationalist at all. I've never advocated. I've never said it, for, but like you talk about, like great replacement, what, the ethics, like changing demographics. Well, with the definition that. of white nationalism, I actually don't fit under that. I looked it up, um, and uh, I don't fit under the definition of ethno state or anything like that. And even if it was my political ideology mm -hmm. that I did want in my ideal world those things to be the case, which which is not anything that I've said ever. Then uh, it, it still is not advocating for genocide in any way. Not yeah, not directly sure. But I mean, like you would prefer if the United States remained a majority white place, and you'd be in favor of restricting immigration from places that don't have sure, white people, yeah. right? Okay, so it's a white nationalists. Well, I, well <laughs> I mean, not, just, not just white people, not just white people. I want to restrict immigration from Europe as well, like mm -hmm. everywhere. Everyone that's not a historic American people. Mm -hmm. um, I just want. I, I think that it's where immigration is out of control at this point, and we should. Uh, it's not unreasonable to go back to the. Sure. When I, I'm not talking at all about what's policies. unreasonable. I think the frustrating part, especially with, um, I'm not. I'm not really here to debate or whatever. Just like stating facts. Yeah, like yeah. obviously, like you gripers, you guys, like ninety percent of the thing is like hiding your power level. I understand that. So like for most people that like can, can see around that, right? Like the white nationalist aspect is pretty obvious. Now I think there are interesting debates to be had around white nationalism, but it's kind of hard to like spend so much time complaining about like. The Jewish question or like demographic replacement or that like election changes of demographics and they're like oh well I'm not it's not about the white thing like it's, it's a pretty big part of what it's about right to be honest well well not uh, not necessarily it's more if you abstract it out from like the colors that it is or anything like that it's just that America was 90% you know one demographic and now in like 60 years it's gone to like what less than 60% that demographic and yeah I but think sure that but the that idea represents that a major you, change sure it does well no you don't think it represents a major change you think it's a bad change you think it represents a major problem that needs to be corrected but you're looking at this through the lens of liter the lens of literally skin color right like you're concerned with what percentage was white as we define it today a long time ago versus what percentage of white as we define it today is, is here today right so it seems like a it's a white thing well, right and it, it, it it seems like it's it's sort of tangential because people that are non-white are coming from places, especially immigrants that are non-white, are coming from places that have cultures that are vastly different uh, from the European yeah, sure. culture. And Japan which, is a massively, you know, culturally homogenous place where everybody's miserable. They stay and live with their parents till they're 35 and they fucking kill themselves because they work too many hours. I mean, like, they're, they're, we can talk about all sorts yeah, of problems that exist in society, but to, like, only look at it through the lens of, like, the skin color homogeneity or whatever is just kind of a weird... Or it's not weird, but, like, it's, it's, we're talking about... I think Japan right? has like, its own problems. I think a lot of them are largely d driven by, the, you know, the new technologies. Um, but it's, it's uh, you know, d d having the idea that Japan should stay majority like Japanese demographic is, is you know, it's if you abstract it out, it's just like I think that the, the homogeneity of a nation is something worth preserving. Sure, That's we can not say exactly that, but like, like white nationalism or something like that. And it's not necessarily that I want it to be course corrected. We have to start kicking people out until the demographics go back to what they used to be. If so I lived if I were, in that I'm time, curious. I would have said I were they to go stay through, what they are. If I were That's to go all. through all of your debates, or if I were to ask anybody else on this panel, have you ever had a conversation where you complain about the fact that Hispanics have more children on average than white people in the United States? Uh, I've... I've, I've never made an argument for lowering the Hispanic. No, but have you point? Have you descriptively pointed out that fact that there's a problem that people of color tend to have more children than white people in the United States? Is that something you've pointed out before? Um, I've been mostly focused on that that white people are not meeting their the replacement rates, but I've also said that about other demographics like African Americans specifically, and I want to raise the birth rates for all Americans. So okay, sure. So yes. Um, I, so I'm just saying that, like, I, I can understand why people, now, I, I don't know if you're genocidal or not, I, I, you just haven't talked to you that much, it wouldn't surprise me, but I haven't talked to you that much, I, I, so I don't know. Genocidal, but like, but you don't have to believe me, I guess. Sure, yeah, but I mean, like, I could see why some people would say, I mean, that everything you say is kind of like part and parcel with, like, white nationalism, um, for better or for worse. Uh, if you want to host that type of content here, I mean, I personally think that debating all this shit is pretty fun, but your Discord server will obviously get overrun by, like, Nazis and, like, tons of slurs and shit, and it'll get banned pretty quickly if you're not careful for it, which I think was a lot of the drama going on with, I, apparently you brought in Doobie to mod or whatever but yeah and we've been getting that under control as it like became i mean it, it just happened just recently where it became um 
like obviously problematic. And so yeah, we've we've been getting that under control. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be able to get every single thing. Yeah, like, no, this shit's yeah, about text messages. So, right. so the, the problem is, I just want to I want to push back on the idea of white nationalism. I believe in nationalism generally speaking, and as you brought up, I believe in the same thing for the Japanese people. I'm not a Japanese nationalist, but I think that it would be better for Japan if they maintain their homogeneity and culture. Yeah, but the and problem so it's is sort that, of like, like an abstract principle rather than just like uh, just yeah, about white but people. The, but the problem is, as an American, it doesn't work at all. If you wanted to be like French or Italian or Japanese, even in some of those countries, it's gonna be harder. You can make stronger arguments for it. Because because your nationality and your ethnicity are oftentimes one and the same word, right? You're Chinese, um, so that means that you're like a Han's Chinese person, and you also live in China, right? So that's one thing. But to say that like you're an American and then an American doesn't make sense, right? We don't really have like a unifying concept of skin color. Now we can point back to like demographic trends in the country or whatever, but that's not really what it means to be an American. It never has been. Um, but so if you want to make an argument that it should be, or that that's something that we should value, something that's important, you're kind of, it's a it's a largely white nationalist talking point, right? Like it, it kind of has to be for the United States. There, there is no well, other ethnic stuff like you can harken back to. It's a white nationalist talking point these days. Well, what? Uh, well, hold on. I mean, it, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, wait. I just, just to be clear. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Just to be clear. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Because so part of the strategy in the conversation is to try to tag me or ID me with other crazy things. So I stand by everything I've said in this conversation. If you think that I've said something or declared something's white nationalist that's not, you can feel free to point it out. But don't just group me in with every other person and say, well, everything's a white nationalist talking point. When I say white nationalism, I very specifically mean white nationalism. So if I'm unfair on a point, feel free to point it out. Is it white nationalism that I think Japan should maintain their cultural, uh, their their culture and Homogeneity? Is that white nationalism? What do you mean by homogeneity? I think that the more majority demographic in Japan should remain Japanese people. Is yeah, that that's white like a, nationalism? That's an ethno-nationalist belief, yes. Well, no, ethno-nationalism in ethno-state is actually when only a certain group of people has the right to be citizens in a certain country. So Come on, not, there, are it's, fla- it's there, are, there are flavors of this. Come on, right? Well, I mean, I've, I'm just going by the definitions of words. If you want to pick a better one than well, ethno state, okay. I mean, like we can. I have I, a quick question for Mayo. Um, sure. Mayo, like. Hi. Hey, <laughs> when it comes to uh, American and American culture, can you explain that to me? Like, what is it? No, culture is a really, really difficult thing to de- to define. But what's an American? Like, what? Quickly. So, like, well, so what, in order what? to answer what's the American culture, we first have to ask ourselves what is culture, right? And look at examples across the world. We we think about like history. If if you're you know history professor is going to say today we're going to study ancient Mesopotamia and their culture. No, you personally, what do you what do what you? What are the facets of this word which we're describing, right? Um, and and so it's like. You know, it, it comes down to all sorts of things, music, art, the, the roles of men so and I women. I think something, something that gets to the heart of this question is let's say there's a person in a room and you can only ask them a, a small handful of questions. How, what would you ask them to find out if they were American? That's a, well, that's a, a good question. I would say a big problem with this is that, uh, you know, I largely believe that we've, we've lost our American culture. I don't know if there is a unifying one anymore. And I'm advocating for the uh, the old one, the traditional one that we've moved away from. Sure. So, and like, so I when, think when if you it's, ask people in, in America in the 1950s certain questions, like "Are you a Christian?" that uh, that you would get the answer yes more often than not. I think if you ask them, you know. Um, yeah, but there are there are, lo- there are lots believe- of Christians across. You can go to Norway and find lots of Christians, right? So, like, when you when you are so adamantly in defense of a certain idea, but that idea seems like ethereal or intangible, or it's hard to not even exactly. It's just it's a part of a bigger conversation. We we could go on for well, like culture two hours is a pretty about- big thing. I don't know how many bigger things right. there are than culture that we can have a conversation about, right? Right. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's a sort of a big conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd, you know, I'd love to have a debate on the American culture with somebody at some point. Well, no, it's not even a debate. It's just when somebody says, like, I really want to protect American culture, I'm just, I'm really curious what that means. Yeah, I want to protect the American culture. It's, you know, it's things like the idea that, you know, the government has to answer to the people. It's like not all cultures believe that. Okay, you, wait, wait, well, wait, wait. How many, we speak how many, English. Well, not everybody does wait, wait, wait. that. Okay, how, first of all, how many... How many countries are, are like democratic? Isn't it like some 170 countries are have like democratically well, right. elected and, governments? And it's like more countries have more more cultural things in common than others, right? It's so it's how many of these things do you have in common with people is a good question to ask when considering which countries you'd rather have immigration from. Absolutely, and um, you know language and religion are a huge part of it. A shared history of a people. Okay, well, so so far of what we said, so a lot of people in Mexico are probably more in Mexico than the United States are Christian. They have a democratically elected government and a lot of them speak English. 
So, I mean, the, and, like yeah, Mexico might actually reason, be more American than America is, depending on well, what standards you're using. Well, and yet, for some using. reason, if you go to England, you'll see, you'll, you'll feel more at home uh, as an American than in Mexico. For some uh, reason. It, it, well, why on. is that? If you go to, it depends on where in England you go versus going to a place like Tijuana or like Mexico City or Cancun or like, I, I mean, it depends on where you go. That's the whole point. Well, we're talking about like cruise, cruise shop tourist towns, like. That's, you know, yeah, those are built okay, around well, but, like but two Okay, but you say Americans cruise shop tourist towns, but your American examples consumers. are going to be places like Seattle, L.A., New York, right? Like, you're, you're these are tourist cities, too. I'm sorry. Like, these are the largest cities in the U.S. as well, if you're going to, unless you want to hearken yeah, to some but, other uh, city. If you, for, if you look at, like, uh, let's say, what, Montana or Wyoming or, you know, um, Tennessee or something like that, they have more in common with people from England than they do with people from Mexico. And I bet if they go there, they'd feel more at home there. They'd feel like they can get along, get around. They can understand, you know, the the people and how they can be expected to act in all the minute ways which make up what a culture is. I have, just as somebody that's been to London a few times, I haven't spent much time outside of it, so maybe it's a lot different. I would be very surprised to see somebody from like Montana or Wyoming. I mean, I guess unless you're literally just assuming well, you no, drop them off in some place. Well, no, if you out of place and put them there, they'd feel more at home in one place than the other. And as someone who's been to Mexico a few times, I can tell you I definitely didn't feel like it was a culture that was like tangential to mine there. Why? How? I'm, or what? Okay, that's a really good question then to kind of move in on. So, like, what things felt out of sync with your culture without using, like, skin color or language? Can you, like, describe that? Well, why is language now not a part of culture? It's, like, one of the biggest things that there is. If you can't communicate with somebody effectively, then, like, uh, you know, how much are you able to find? The reason why I'm not saying all? language is because literally every single major city in the world uses English. So that seems to be, like, a really bad point culturally that's unique to the United States. You can go to any major city. They don't city speak in any... majority English in Mexico City. They don't. You think if you went to Mexico City, you don't think you'd find any, any restaurant would have somebody that could speak English? Or... Oh, no, the, you could probably find someone that could speak English. You could probably find people who are bilingual who could translate for you, stuff like that. But all the signs are going to be in Spanish. All the, you know, it's the people that are going to be talking to each other in the street are going to be speaking Spanish. It's, uh, yeah, moving to a place where people are speaking a completely different language than you is uh, an alienating experience at first, especially. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily disagree with that. But is and there anything besides? Sure, but is is culture just language to you? Like, what other aspect of that is? Well, no, that's that's one of the facets of it. So it comes down to music, art, um, a shared history, and and ethos. And uh, sure, like, okay, so uh, okay, yeah, well, okay, okay, so legends, okay, yeah, so real quick, okay, heroes. wait, wait, okay, so every time I try to, I'm just curious what your actual answers are. But like, you want to like These run off answers. onto this like ADHD rant that has like all of your points in every single answer. I don't care. Well, the reason wait, is no, 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 wait, I, okay, culture I just, is a multifaceted no, issue. I, I understand that, but you're using multifaceted as a defense to not have to defend a single point. So every time I try to ask you, you I give mean, me you like can, seven different- You can nitpick any one of them. You think I'm Mexican not, music on. is not different you from You call American it music? nitpicking, but if you wanted to have a deep, if I felt like I was an eth ethno-nationalist, I feel like I would be able to defend Stop every leg of my table. Mouth. If my table is, this is why I want to support Nathan this particular culture. Okay, wh whatever you want to call yourself, okay? You should be able to defend <laughs> the individual points, not not like just keep rattling off seven or eight different things but every time. See, you, you've asked me about culture, and I'm, I'm giving you like a dozen different answers. No, 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 no. You, you haven't given, one, hold on, to could... be clear, you haven't given me a single answer yet. So what I initially asked for was you said that you were in Mexico and you said that it was way different being down there than the US. And I was curious, besides like the skin color of the people around you and like the language, like what's an example of how the culture differs? And then you gave and me I like seven gave things. Yeah, so, that, yeah. So, so, okay, so let's focus on like any one of them. So you said music, right? Yeah, Do you Mexican like, music is sure. not the same as ours. Do you like rap music? It's not. Not really. Okay, so hip hop is the most popular music in the United States. So like, uh, yeah, and that's brand new. That's a brand new thing. That's uh, certain media companies back in like the eighties or nineties okay. started popularizing so, this stuff. So they got it on all the radio waves. So they music is been, not. I think it's bad yeah. for a black African American culture. I think it's bad for like all of American culture. And so it's music. Not like, okay, okay, hold on. You don't stop. You're you're defeating your own argument in front of me. Okay, I understand that you might not like the fact that it is the predominant music, but it is. So when you say that like the music is something that you feel out of sync with, you're not in sync with American culture for American music. Well, and that's what I've said though. What I've said is that the American culture has like completely degraded and it's fallen apart. And there's like, yeah, there's a uh, What music do you consider to be American? No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need, hold one. on. Do you, do you, you see the, okay. 
I just want to have a conversation, but you're so into getting all of your talking points out. I'm just asking really simple questions. Okay? These aren't talking points. It's you just are when you talk about like well, the global interests are trying to force. I'm not. I don't care about all that. Okay, I'm but just, there are these media companies that no, I don't care about the media company. African That's not what I'm asking. Culture. What, what to you okay. is like American? You're asking about African-American culture and why I'm, I'm out not, of sync with her. You're asking, asking about, about rap music and you're saying that I'm out of sync with the American culture yes. because I don't like rap music. So and my, I'm explaining why that is. I'm just curious. What is American music to you? What does you that mean? You just don't want to hear this answer. You want to hear like, uh, well, I don't like rap because I'm a Nazi or something. I never. For, okay, hold on. Stop trying. I am treating you with incredible kid gloves right now, okay? I'm being very nice. I haven't accused you of saying anything you haven't. And when I've said something that you correct me on, I'll, okay, so you, you, I haven't described you genocidal. I took back the word ethno-nationals. I'm asking a very simple question. Okay, Stop yeah, trying no, to straw man me to other left right. positions. I'm just asking you. I'll ask for like the fourth it's time. It's been happening a lot. I'm that's, sorry. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Welcome to my the life for the past 12 years, okay? So what is what is American music to you? What does that mean? Well, I've, it's yeah, that's a, that's a good question. I'll have to think on that because... There are different types of American music, um, and there there have been even since before these changes came into place, which I'm describing. Again, the the American culture, which just so we're clear that I'm advocating for, is like the traditional American culture before all these sure. major changes. What is traditional like, American music? Traditional American music, it would probably be like uh, folk music, or um, we have uh, we have what big band music we had uh jazz was american music it's it, we have um so this is all african-american music right jazz and big band that's like african well, hey, big stuff, band right? music is not african-american music okay of course Dude. it was come on no it wasn't big band big music band is stuff. literally like john blues philip and jazz Sousa, and like uh hold on hold on this is african-american no, 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 no. culture is that what you're john saying? philip Sousa wrote marches that's not a big band hold on just i just want to be really clear so you don't embarrass yourself this game okay? big band does not mean you have a big band playing of the songs Big band refers to a, st a type of like jazz or swing that you'd go and listen to and like dance and stuff. It's definitely African American, I promise you. I, I yeah, I reject that. I don't think that, I, and, and that could be wrong. I'll look it up. I'm, uh, you know, I do have a, a history of music theory, and I've never been taught or equated uh, big band music with like d just African American jazz, which, yeah, African Americans did pioneer blues and jazz. Wait, what do you think? I, what does big band music mean to you? Big band music, it's it is it's kind of like jazz, but it's more of like um, the it's like an improv. Well, I guess improvisational would just be another way of saying jazz, huh? It's um. But okay. I think do you I think John the problem? Sousa fits directly under it. I'm, I think I'm, he fits directly under it. It's it's a I'm, a it's literally it it's like a, it does it does not. I promise you. Okay, it does not. Yeah, I'm. Uh, well, all right. Maybe I'm wrong about big band being jazz or not. I'll look into that because honestly, it's a question I've never considered before in my life. Okay, but, but do uh, you see the problem? I'm trying to ask you these well, big, at the very these least, big okay, pillars so of American culture, this, and it seems like you don't really question. have any answers. African Americans have been here since the beginning of America, and jazz and uh, and big band music. If even if let's tie them together, that's not African culture, right? That's African American culture. They've been here since the beginning, and they have contributed to American culture in a lot of ways i agree um, that's very like woke a, of you i 100 agree about the yes. culture is that it's people who are in the country uh contributing different things to the culture and and it's you know the foreign peoples coming in and changing the culture to make it like their own is is a very different thing from people that that have been here people that um did largely uh, subscribe to the the historic american culture which like you can deny exists but like it's, I'm just uh, trying to find out what the, the average trying... American from two different places a hundred years ago would have had more in common with each other than a French guy, English guy, you know, an Indian, whatever. It's like, of course they did, and and it's like we can okay, we can you're, try you're and just, hammer you're out ranting. the exact things. You're, you're just ranting again. That's all you're doing. Well, I'm, <laughs> you can just keep saying that. Well, but no, I'm but you are points. because I think that most people can see, or I would hope that you're not engaging with my conversation. Every time I poke you on something, you just you go back into one of your rants about. Well, you're like, asking what culture is, right? And it's like no, okay, that's not so, what we're talking about right now. Right now, it was a very that? specific question on what well, American okay, music was. Right? What so, is American music? I, I said it, it's probably folk, uh, folk music. It's probably country sure. music. It's probably but now, jazz. But now, hold on. But now, do you Let's understand? Tie them together. Sure. I'm just trying. Right? To, I'm just walking you through your. So there's okay. different. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You genres, said earlier. I asked you. Music. Okay, but it's all let, American. Hold on. Okay, so let's let's then take a couple more steps back in this argument. 
You told me that when you went to Mexico, you didn't really jive with the music there because it wasn't American music. And then I asked you, well, in the United right. States, how do you feel about like rap and hip hop? And you're like, well, I don't understand that either. That's also not American music. But if you're going to tell me that jazz and all of that is American music because it was like influenced by slaves and African Americans that have been here since the beginning, well, where did hip hop or rap come from? Do you think that started in England? <laughs> Well, I will tell you, it's not African Americans who own the media companies which push. Do you see how you just? Do you see how you just moved to the JQ? Do you see how you moved to the JQ without even engaging the question? No, you're asking, is this not an African American thing? And I'm telling you, it's not an African American thing. It's been bad for African American culture. This gang culture has like been detrimental to their communities. And I think in some ways, I'm advocating for African Americans in that way. You are pivoting all down the talking points. Okay. I, I don't know what you mean by that. I'm what not playing I mean games by that, here. No, I'm you're not playing like, games. You're trying to run down the Groiper ta- the, the uh, discourse list or whatever, right? I'm explaining the answer right? to your question. No, you no, asked no. about African music, if that's African-American culture. I just told you that it's not. I well, I mean, it's becoming culture. that, and uh, that's bad. Th- it's a bad thing for them. It didn't so, just uh, come, come organically from the African-American community that they all decided to be like this. That's not what happened. So you're it's telling me the, people the like effects. like a tribe called Quest or Tupac or Biggie Small, all these guys in the beginning, what they had like Jewish masterminds or, or media, co- sorry, media owner masterminds that like forced I all of this stuff. I never said Jews. Okay, I'm just saying that. Who there do you are, think owns the media? There are. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It, it matters. Well, no, like what I'm they curious do. who you think owns the media. Don't play games. We'll be. Well, it depends on which media company you're talking. The ones about. that push the music. Uh, well, I think it'd be really interesting to find out about stuff like okay. that. Like, you See, know, if that's now, like, relevant. The more, I don't the know. More, I don't know yeah, why so it's relevant. The, who owns the more, this stuff? It's like, relevant that... because it's relevant because you keep bringing it up. I don't want to talk about that. I don't care right. about who owns the media. <laughs> but every time I try to ask you what about I'm American music, say, you keep alluding back to all of your like kind of mask on talking points. If you want to make no, like what, a white nationalist argument, then do it. Don't don't do all these weird like here's the what other I'm saying, the alluding man. to fifty million other dialogue trees. Like just engage with one point. It's because it's irrelevant to me who owns the media. If it's irrelevant, then why do you keep talking about? About it because what i'm saying is that these media companies these like billionaire media companies they choose who becomes big and who doesn't i'm sure everyone in their life here can think of some underground rapper who's better than like 90 percent of the people being pushed but for some reason it's like they're who gets the deals they're who gets the record labels and it's uh you know a lot of it is like garbage music i think anyone can agree that rap music was better in so, like the early 2000s okay, so if than we look at today. somebody why like why is that so it's if because we the look, media companies who are selecting the people okay so if we look it doesn't at somebody, matter who owns them so if we look at somebody like kanye west who's arguably one of the largest like musical talents today right so he was signed to rockefeller records right which was founded by Uh-oh. like jay-z right uh-oh. And then Damon Biggs or whatever. So uh, would you say that, like, would, was there something behind them, the media companies, or? Uh, yeah, I haven't uh, haven't personally looked into Rockefeller Records myself right now. But I will say that there is uh, definitely uh, an obvious, like, it, it's it's obvious that these people are not selecting just for who's the most talented, but they're selecting for, like, who mm-hmm. they can work with and control. And what is your, and what is your, exa- what is your, like evidence of that i hate to push you on my this evidence much, like of that right. is that music sucks and there's better music not you, coming you know from that this labels. is a this is a meaningless statement right like music sucks well, maybe like you don't you, like it but, but music stuck that, that's important to me i like music okay? you clearly and I, want it to be I don't think i i think that the level of care that each of us have about music is very different and yours is definitely way lower than mine okay so i'm asking you, uh right? you're talking to somebody who's a musician and uh you know actually did play jazz and uh all okay sorts of i stuff. promise I you that you were not a musician uh, i promise I you that you theory. never play jazz you did not play jazz and you don't know you, theory okay you don't Stop. get to say that about I me absolutely my, my life and my history <laughs> it's your life okay. and your history really it's my life and my history that yes i am uh i have played like several several different instruments of different types in many different places public venues i've gotten paid to do it actually i have okay if you, i'm just i'm so ran i'm so randomly curious what's like the dominant seven of, of like the scale of c <laughs> i don't remember okay so i actually went the, to music the, school oh, no, so hold on no no, no. Okay, i'm just, I'm just being really clear okay you don't okay I, yeah okay so F i actually went to music okay. school and i actually know music history and i actually know music theory that's why okay, i know you like, don't know what you're talking you about why. listen so when you brought up philip i Sousa, did all, no, 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 i used to have no, no, my blues hold on, stop. scales memorized no, 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 no. my dude you, you, i don't care if you know some pentatonics on the guitar okay that's not what i'm talking about okay no number I, one number two you brought up you brought up Sousa. okay i've played Sousa marches okay stars and stripes brother all that shit that is not big band music if you played jazz you probably played some big man 
music, okay? Big band music does not mean a lot of brass instruments. Oh, uh, yeah, I played it swing, 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 okay, yeah, okay, on the trumpet. So then you would not tell me if you had a background in music and you played in jazz that big band music includes marches. Okay, so don't don't lie to me about your okay, background well, because now you've okay, totally maybe, undermined like every single part of everything you're going to tell me. I don't me. know. To me, to me, big, uh, the the marches and all of that is uh, I don't know. I've always had it associated with big band music. Maybe I'm wrong on okay, that. Okay, it's maybe, fine. maybe okay. I'm wrong. Maybe it's like small band jazz and big band jazz, no, there, and that's just the difference. Okay, I, stop. Okay. So, right <laughs> but I'm now, telling so, you, I, right now, like, so let's let's um, go I've back to like if we if we look at several of them. I know about jazz. I know about music. Music is important to me, and yeah, I care that music sucks now and why it's happening. Why do you and, think uh, music sucks now? What does that mean to you? Because the people who who own the media companies are selecting not for who is the best at making music, but who is going to make music that fits with the, their beliefs and their agenda that they're trying to push on people. Where do you and think like, a lot of the old operas from Beethoven and Mozart, where do you think a lot of those came from? Do you think that they wrote these as they were passionate inside their basements? Or do you think these were literally commissioned by nobles and royalty? You understand sure, that every sure. argument and you might be making, no, case. no, no, hold on. Maybe every there were argument you might be making right now in, in favor of music paid. being like curtailed to a certain audience, that is literally where all of the, where Wagner, where all those classics came from, they were literally commissioned by royalty. Okay, but like this mumble rap garbage is not Beethoven. Or, you might you know, not Bach, like the okay? mumble Mozart rap. Was you gay, might not like way. mumble His rap. Music sucks. And guess what? When Beethoven was pushing the, the boundaries of what was considered music, when he was pushing into that late romantic era, a lot of people thought his stuff was garbage as well they didn't want to listen to it either this is the, the evolution of music has happened like this throughout and more broadly culture has happened like this throughout all of human history yeah okay well what i'm saying is uh, at some music point argument. it's like it's <laughs> oh my god because it used to be that the, the kings or whatever the ruling class they commissioned art like uh beethoven Right. And now they're commissioning like uh, mumble rap and pushing that on hundreds of millions of people. Why do you think Beethoven like, is any better than mumble rap? Why, why, why do you think Beethoven is any better than mumble rap? Uh, well, I guess it's totally subjective. Huh? There, thank you. Would, That's uh, all I wanted you to say. So when you say something like music is worse today than it used to be, that doesn't But it mean literally anything. is, though. It, no, it's literally not because you can't. There's no way that you can qualify. That. OK, so so just so we're all clear about this, the, the end results of this part of this conversation is that Destiny believes that mumble rap is just as high quality of music entertainment as Beethoven. I never said that it was of high quality. I just so said it's that worse. I never said it's it. I would Beethoven. never. No, it is worse. I would sucks. never take two periods of music and say one was objectively worse than the other. Uh, I wouldn't I totally say that. Would. I think that's, you can compare that's things fine, but that's day. because you're either a music snob or you just don't have the background to understand what you're saying. It just doesn't make any sense. You know sense what? Maybe I that. am a music snob because I know more about music than you, huh? I, <laughs> <laughs> Like, I know it with that. Yeah, I Sorry. mean, like when you when you literally think that like <laughs> Philip Sousa, okay, is fucking big band music. I, we're in different leagues of this conversation. I promise you, okay. Hey, John but, Philip Sousa was fun. That's all I remember okay, about it. Okay, that's great, but it wasn't big band. Okay. Okay, maybe it wasn't big band. Maybe sure. there's that, but, but Beethoven I don't, I don't, was better than mumble rap. I don't, and I I will die on that hill. But you can, But if I were to ask you why, you wouldn't be able to tell me why. Uh, yeah, because mumble rap sucks, and Beethoven was based. You know that that's not an argument, right? Why don't and you no, quantify that musically for really, me? Since you have such this big music really background, explain to me why, why, why you think Beethoven is better than uh, than mumble rap. I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, because of, well, we can just at the very least we can go with like chord progressions that Beethoven's were like basically like mathematical, and uh, these these mumble rap songs, it's all just one chord progression of four chords, just like over and over and over again, and then people are like barely saying words on top of it. It's not the same as like a symphony with like a hundred notes being played by different instruments all at the same time, and then there's thousands of them that are all, of the you know, working together as the music, you know, uh, ebbs and flows. It's very, very different. Yeah, and one is better and one is worse, and uh, I I am qualified to say that as a music snob. Okay, so. well, if you were a music snob, and if you ever analyzed or tore apart any of the symphonies or operas you were talking about, if you ever broke out your little Shinkirian analysis, or if you ever worked on any figured bass or any of that in school, one of the things you'd realize is, guess what? 
All that classical music shit is all the same fucking chord progressions as well, right? Literally all of it is some form of preparation of a dominant, then a resolution to a tonic. If you understand that pattern, you basically understand 95% of everything to like the middle so and pre romantic much more variation era. still. And there is as well in, in all the, even in fucking mumble rap. But mumble rap's not the only type of popular music today either. There's tons of other shit as well. There's all sorts of different but rappers, is, rock bands. You gotta admit, it's widely popular. It's listened to by hundreds of millions of people. And I don't think that's why, that's because it's just like naturally the best. It, it won in the battleground of music sure, ideas. That's, you know I what? It's because and, certain companies who own all the means of distribution of music are uh, pushing that stuff. You, okay, but... Even the people's ears back then like simpler stuff as well. For instance, Beethoven, after he uh, composed the Moonlight Sonata, complained that every single time he went to perform in any place, that was the only song that people asked for. They didn't want to hear any of his more complicated shit. They just wanted to hear that song over and over again. So, like, this isn't like a new well, thing. Some it's of not... his more complicated shit was, like, really, really busy as far as music goes. And Moonlight Sonata was totally based. It's like, uh, It's you know. based. It's pretty simple. It's not very complicated. Uh, no, well, maybe the first movement of it is not, but it's like the rest of it is. Okay. Um, I, I, when you look at like, uh, if we were to go a couple of years back and we were to look at things like Pink Floyd or Genesis or Yes or more harder bands like Opeth or Mastodon or any, like do any of these like rock bands, do any of these like count as like decent music to you or is it all garbage as well? I think it's. Uh, I think it all doesn't hold a candle to Beethoven, but I think it's a lot more musical than they like. You have melodies and stuff at least instead of just like you know what you have now with the mumble rap. Wait, what? Okay, like I'm just. Garbage. I'm so curious. What instruments do you play? Okay, I played the trumpet. I played the violin. I played the piano. Not as well though. I played. Uh, well, okay, I'm just curious. When, do you know like what a partial is? A partial. A partial. What? I guess not. Okay. I don't think you actually played the trumpet. I think you played for one year in grade school. I'm going to be totally uh, honest. No, with you, I okay? played the trumpet for like uh, five or six years actually, it's, and I ended up like playing professionally at the, like public you're, events. You're, are, so. you at like a, are you a chronic liar? Or, um, fuck, what do you No, no, no. My family is like uh, history and music education. I haven't in a long time. How do, you not, how do you not know what a partial is? I don't know what you, like, explain it. But I, I don't remember what a partial is. Maybe I did know. I've known a lot of things that I no longer remember. Um, I haven't played music in like uh, you know years. Okay, but that doesn't fuck. mean that's not my. Yeah, real never mind. Okay, history. okay. What do you? Okay, bro, I think it's all just a big troll, and I just realized that I just wasted this whole <laughs> conversation talking to somebody actively trolling me. Um, no, okay, I'm wait. What's the next? What's trolling. the next? Let's let's talk mm -hmm. about a partial. Explain what a partial is, and uh, we'll talk about it. Because I, how do you make no? How do you make notes on a trumpet? Oh, what, what, pressing the valves down? So you mean like with a partial pressing of the valves? Okay. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. Like, uh, it, it seems kind of weird. Like, oh, you don't know the definition of this thing. Well, like, uh, explain it. Um, a partial is a simple part of a more complex audio harmonic. <laughs> okay. What does that mean to you? <laughs> Each instrument, from a trumpet to a violin, produces its own unique quality of sound called timbre, which the music ear uses it's to not identify timber, it's sounding timbre. like a trumpet Wait, or a violin. Wait, you actually have timbre, no background whatever. in music. No, you're actually it says lying to timbre, me. okay? <laughs> you, it's pronounced timbre. So your partials are, that's how you play notes on a fucking trumpet. So why is it, okay, well, I'm curious. Now, actually, this is a fun conversation now. Partial so, is how you play you, notes on a trumpet? I made it through, like, uh, again, I played sing, sing, sing. That was, uh, I mean, like, I played the solo trumpet wow. in my jazz band yeah. for like three years. And okay? you don't know what a partial so, is. Well, I guess I guess you don't need to in order to figure it out. Jimi Hendrix didn't know how to write notes, did he? That, he didn't I know bet how he knew how to play the guitar. All. Okay, wait, I'm curious. So like, how is it that on a trumpet, when you push down one button, how do you get multiple notes out of pushing down the same one button? Well, it depends on how you, uh, you know, your chops. Okay. Depends on like that's that's all in like how tight your lips are when you when you're when you're pressing it. It's like you, you make your lips tighter and it's a higher note. What's you the name? Of, what's looser? like the name of the? Um, why, are, why are we talking about trumpets and partials? What's what's the name of the um, thing for like the shape of your mouth and everything? Do you know the, what's that? What that's called? 
Oh man, I actually should know this. This is actually a very. I'm sorry. Okay, you've actually listen. Got me on this no, no, phone, it's not. This you're actually like you have no idea. Like what you? I'm actually getting trolled so hard. I haven't right now. thought about any of this in like over ten years. You okay? said you. I listen. I haven't thought about this in thirteen years. I'm a music school flunky, and and obviously I would know this. Like anybody that did Why like high school band would school? know this. I did music in school. I thought you said you had. Well, a, yeah, I thought no, you had a degree in music. School. I used to do all this stuff. I know. <laughs> It's okay. You don't have to believe me. I never did anything music related. It's uh, you know. But if I'm not trolling, that's just like facts. Okay. Well, um. Okay. So let's let's just leave the whole music. Okay. Um, yeah. Sure. I mean, sure. I I messed up on uh, what timbre pronoun pronunciation. I don't know what a partial is, and I don't remember. This is. It's actually embarrassing. I don't remember what it's called when you're uh. Your embouchure. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. You're tightening your lips. Yeah. So yeah, I it's don't okay. remember well, those I'm not things. trying to like. But that doesn't mean you want to talk about theory. You want to talk about scales. You want to talk about music history. Sure. How many like sharps are? Genre. How many sharps are in an E major scale? Oh, man, I don't remember yeah, my you don't, okay, scales yeah, anymore. Okay. Yeah. Stop. Okay. So you don't know you anything know how many about music. There are. Okay, fine. Tell me what are the you bragged about knowing your blues scales. What are the notes in a C blues scale? Man, maybe I could count it out. In what like are the a notes C in a C right blues now, scale? B flat. What are the notes in a C blues scale? What are they? Do you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I don't know why you would choose right, so what music. Do you do? What of do you do for things? blues? You okay. have the flat third, no, stop, right? Stop, just you stop. have the, the flat seven, stop. and I think that's it. So stop, stop. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> no, we should bring the British guy back on to talk about fucking Chevron. And yeah, or, or, or any <laughs> any shit, other conversation. Trumpets? What the fuck? I don't know why. I don't obvious. know why you would because now I okay. So now the problem is so you literally lied about every single thing you just said related to music. So I don't know why I would yeah, trust you with anything no, else I you did. say about your background. Just, just because I don't know, like uh, I don't video. remember, like which notes are flat. What in, do like, you remember? Scales. I, well, I, I remember like the general basics. Okay, I I could probably like if you put a trumpet in front of me, uh -huh. I could probably figure out the scales. I could remember all that stuff. Um, I, and again, I played other instruments as well. I played like violin. Okay. I played the piano. Um, do you know what the, Do you know what key a trumpet is written in? I don't remember in? all the terms. I don't remember all the blues yeah. scales. Okay. Okay. I don't even remember all the all the major sure. scales, even yeah. though I can okay. count it out. Gotcha. Okay. You know, it's like okay. why Why does that Why does that matter move. when I'm saying that Beethoven is objectively objectively better than mm. mumble rap? Because like, for what you, is the to, because you don't that? have the background to even begin to entertain that question, let alone actually yeah, assert it as a legitimate do, argument. Though, I just don't you absolutely can't. You absolutely can't. Okay. So well, still. Okay. I will. I will go here. I will go into this and I'll say, even if, which it's not true, even if I did not understand anything about music here, theory, mm -hmm. even if I didn't have any of the history in music from like, you know, so long ago, I can not remember the terms. Even if I was just some John Doe nobody telling you this, uh, we can establish here that my position is that Beethoven is better music, higher quality than mumble rap, and your position is that it's not. They're like That's the same not or my something, position. Right? My position so, is that music changes and evolves over time. The ears that we have today, that we listen that's to music not an evolution with, from Beethoven it, to mumble rap. It absolutely is. But you don't have the background to understand that, and it would take me too long to catch you up to this part of the conversation. <laughs> so we should just move. All right, and I want right, to be, I yeah. just want to be ultra clear, okay? Because... I, one, I'm not a music snob and, and snob, and two, I'm not here to gatekeep anybody snob. on their like music shit. The only reason we went down this road is because you insisted to me that you you were a professional player, that you had a degree in theory, and that you the knew all of this shit. Okay, 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 cool. I, I'm glad you said that. I just want people to know that's the only reason why we went down this road because otherwise I would never lean into somebody this hard on this many specifics. But you brought <laughs> out, you wheeled out this qualification. You clearly but don't I have. literally, I literally did get paid like over and over again to play at different venues like. But with different different groups of people, I even made a brass quartet myself that like played at local venues uh, together, like all sorts of so like Christmas songs and stuff, like different times. Um, so like I did go to states. Yeah, but and, you don't like, know uh, anything about even your own instrument. What's the instrument of trumpet and a cornet? A, tr a cornet is for marching, right? It's like shorter. Yeah, like, and okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. What What let's is the difference just, besides just, that? Let's just. Let's I just, had a trumpet and a cornet. Okay. So like, yeah, that is the difference, man. Like, okay. <laughs> let's just. I don't know what to tell up. you. I literally owned both. Okay. So, 
It, but but either way, it's that's beside the point. It's you know we can just move on after establishing that you think that mumble rap is uh, an evolution from Beethoven, and I think it's a degradation. I think okay, it's worse. okay. So let me do my like one minute spiel on this. Okay, so it's Go not about it. music doesn't evolve from one thing to another. We play certain forms of music and then we build upon that music and then we move forward from that particular type of music. That's how everything has always happened. There has never been one form of music that is like persevered and people have listened to it throughout for the rest of time, right? When romantic music started to get pushed, people got bored of classical music, okay? When people heard like Liszt and Chopin and shit, they didn't want to hear fucking Mozart anymore. And then later on, when we got into like this really late romantic shit, when we got into the early impressionist shit, nobody wanted to hear early romantic shit anymore. Who wants to listen to early Beethoven or mid-time Beethoven when you've got like Tchaikovsky or when you get into this like impressionist stuff, you got all sorts of new music. And then past that, we started to get into electronic shit. We started to add electronic instruments like guitars and stuff. We started to have like different ways to record in like studios. Our ears changed the way that we hear and perceive music was dramatically different. Like all of this stuff changed the way that we, where we hear music. It's not just stuff that's commissioned by kings and queens anymore to sit in front of plays. Now we listen to it in our car. Now we listen to it while watching movies in the background. Like the idea that some music today is objectively worse than you're comparing it to literally the the best music that was commissioned at the time for like actual like plays and operas to be presented in front of kings and queens just betrays like a really deep misunderstanding of like what music is or how people enjoy music. That's. Okay, and for me, I'll just say that uh, Beethoven is better than mumble rap, and uh, if music was better when kings and queens were doing it, you know, maybe there's something to the whole kings and queens thing. Sure. But, uh, Do you know how I know, though, that you don't even believe your own argument? <clears throat> why is that? Name me your three favorite Beethoven pieces. Oh, man. See, you don't even listen to it, but you're sitting here telling no, me how I good listen. it is. But you okay, know what? Moon, I bet, Moonlight you know Sonata what? is no, 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 like no, no. literally one of my no, favorite no, no, no. songs, but you already named no, no. that one. Okay, for, got, there, uh, there is no song called Moonlight Sonata. Okay. Moonlight Sonata in D, isn't that what it's called? It's That's the first movement of that sonata. Do you even know what the sonata form is? That's the... I, okay, I've listened so you to it so over and even, over again, sure. and I thought, is that really called the? Is that really just the name of the first movement? Because it's, I really thought that that was yes. the so, entire okay. song, and that's it's not the, the part entire song. It's the first movement first of that sonata. Sonata is a three three part like piece. You've got a, a beginning piece and an end piece, and then there's a middle happy one, and it could be so. Like, Moonlight so, Sonata is the all three parts. No, it is. it's okay. Let okay. The three part so thing. You don't. You just so you that. don't. You don't listen to. If you type you in Moonlight Sonata in D on YouTube, you'll get the whole thing. You will. You don't listen. You'll get, you can even just get just the first movement of it. But like, yeah, that is. It's the entire song. The, but, but again, the, the, moving, let's let's move on from the music yeah, thing. No, no. Well, yeah, I understand. Is, uh, we are. But I just want to show you that you're the one. Okay. That wanted to 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 bring up like. Beethoven, how great it is, blah, 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 blah. And every like white nationalist person I think who does this, but you don't actually listen to any of this. So you don't even so like this music. So it's not liking Beethoven more than mumble rap is a white nationalist trait? Is that no like saying sheesh. that you have this appreciation for by the way what isn't even american music okay because <laughs> beethoven is not american that doesn't even make sense he was white though i don't know if that matters um to say that like you like that but you uh, don't yeah, even yeah, listen yeah. to it and that's what you want to defend you understand no, how I weird literally that sounds do listen to classical music all the time i don't know the names of all the pieces i do know i do know more than just moonlight sonata and d from beethoven though but i'm blanking but uh it's I don't like a, a lot of his like most famous pieces, but I sure as fuck like him better than Mozart. Okay. Also, it's... Moonlight Sonata is in C sharp minor. If you, I can play it for you sometimes if you. <laughs> what? If you, <laughs> but, um, okay. So let, let's just okay. Walk, walking okay, all the so, way back. So besides yeah. music, what is another thing in Mexico that made you feel like you were more alien to that culture than American culture? Um, yeah, people, I don't know, it's it's difficult to describe, but people act differently. They have different uh, manners and mannerisms with each other. Um, it could be, can, can you, what, what okay. do they call, what do they call English common culture? Something that like uh, English Australians, New Zealand, and, uh, you know, English Canadians and Americans, they all have certain things in common that they don't have in common okay, so with I've, other Okay, I want, I know, I've been right? to, I've been to lots of places in New Zealand. I've been all over fucking Canada and I've been to England. I want you to tell me what is similar to all of these places. Now, I'm very curious. Yeah, they uh, well, it's it's difficult to define, honestly. It's something I'm gonna, I guess, have to flesh out a little sure. better. But do you but understand? Do you understand? Wait, wait. You, so Australia, you say this? Okay, any sure. of the, the English okay. colonized Go countries? Mm -hmm. It's it's obvious that there's mm -hmm. a difference between those and like Mexico or China or like Is Africa. It? If it's so obvious, yeah. why can't you verbalize any of it? Well, it's uh, culture is a difficult thing to just articulate. No, on it's not. Hand. Okay, well then, you explain to me the uh, the 
cultural facets in which the United States and Mexico are, you know, more the same than Mexico and China or something. I'm not the one here that has an entire life ideology. Oh, right, right. The culture that, is so easy whoa, whoa, to whoa, define, whoa, 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 except whoa, whoa. Uh, you don't have to do it. I'm not the one that's based my entire life ideology defending my culture. So I haven't sat here and tried to spell well, out exactly what culture defend because I'm not worried about that. You're the one whose I'm life work is, is that. So I'm somebody. Is so hold on. So I'm somebody that theoretically you could pull to my side. Maybe you give me some really compelling argument about like, oh well, this is what American culture is. I'm like, yeah, actually, I really like that, and maybe that would be something worth defending. But when I'm asking you questions about it, even though this is like your whole fucking thing, you can't name like a single part of what American culture even is. Well, it's not exactly my my whole fucking thing exactly, but it is a big part of it. Obviously, I think culture is important to people i think people who have intact homogenous cultures are more what likely to get along with each other we don't have a homogenous I mean, culture in the united states though we never have well, well sure but what i think is generally abstractly speaking on principle i think that people who live in homogenous cultures are better off and more likely to get along with each other than people that have different okay, cultures if i'm you interact telling with you that you we do not have a street, homogenous culture in the united states i'm not saying that we do right we've now we've never anymore. had not, a homo we had a civil war <laughs> we've we never totally had a homogenous did. culture in the united states the civil war was not because they're like to, you know just so radically different of peoples that they could never get along with each other they called it like brother against brother and they thought it was terrible what's, like the, what's the thing in between the two brothers against we obviously there were many cultural differences between like the north and the south at the time our economies were different in terms of like relying on like manufacturing versus like agriculture the amount of like That's big true. cities that popped up in the north and the uh, cosmopolitan ideas like all of that shit started to change oh, a lot differently true. if you look at the election maps between the north and the south though like north and south of the mason dixon line like that's been something that's been like relatively constant right with the northern states being kind of more liberal and the southern states sure the southern but you just described the difference between like cities and farm people and then like uh Whoa, electoral I was politics trying to that's the north what culture the, is i was trying to understand the north and the south but you're the right, one the telling big, me. The you're the one telling me that they were roughly the always the same. Like, the north was like industrialized, and the south was largely farms and stuff. Do you think um, that might? So it's like wait, you think no. This, you think the south was one large big farm, and the north was one large big city? Uh, no, they they definitely had a uh, like more industrialized. Uh, so when the civil like war, so stuff, when the civil north, war started, the that's civil a big war. That's part of why the north was more better equipped against the south. The civil, and it's part of why they needed the south and were ta yeah. taxing them so heavily and stuff. So, so on the, yeah, so the crops. civil war was not city slickers against rural people. It was the north it totally versus was the south. Carpet baggers versus it was uh, the north versus based. the south. So what? So okay. Well. Anyway, back, so for all the politically yeah. provoked drama, what <laughs> I, if you would, if you just Rome, if you would just, look if you want to if you want to do a real like debate on culture, I will uh, like actually bring real real positions. I need to do some obviously some research to better articulate my positions. I need to be able to define culture. You can do that, but the better. problem is that the problem is that like this is, is your I, whole not, this is your whole ideology. You can't even tell me like what you're here's defending. The di here's the difference, I think in in. What where I'm our disconnect is is you I'm think so that I'm advocating I'm for like some advocate. common United States culture that we all share today, and uh, and I'm saying that that's not the case. That Americans used to have more in common with each other than they do now, and and it's like maybe it wasn't all everybody thinks the exact same thing on everything, but they used to have more in common with each other than they do. I don't now. know if that's even that true though. You, the things like the internet, things like radio, TV, all of this shit has made has drawn so many similarities throughout the United States that there probably wasn't as much before. I don't even I don't even think that's true. There's well, more similarities. Like, for honestly, instance, like when we look at like language, every single major city in the world has a fuck ton of English speakers because of things honestly, like the internet. Honestly, there may be something to that. It's like a, if you go on the internet now, it's like a, if you don't conform to the, the common culture of people on the internet, then you basically get bullied out of it, right? Um, so, so I do agree with that to some extent. I don't think that it's necessarily a great culture that's rising out of that. I'd that's rather not at all. Have... I'm not talking about the crazy people that tweet on Twitter and try to get people banned for whatever. I'm just talking about general cultural things. So like the types of movies we watch, the music we listen to, the languages we all seem to speak, that's like true. the jokes and the ideas that we all have, unless you think all of that is controlled too. It's all being directed. Uh, it's very interesting stuff. God. No, I, it's, uh, that's a joke. Okay, that's literally. It's not a joke. Just... Come on, I've dude, I've debated <laughs> Fuentes before. I know how this works. If you want to say that's a joke, it, it's not. Obviously, I'm not a dumb. You're player. not allowed I... to joke about anything these sure. days. Sure, it's not as yeah. It's, it, just that's a joke, a part LOL. of the internet yeah. culture. Is just no a joke, joke. LOL. Just a joke. No LOL. jokes are yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a, yeah, absolutely a just just kidding. By the way. Yeah. Um, so here's the here's the thing. Um, 
the the culture i i believe that Wait, in no, the no, country, let's, let's, let's people, talk about like the drama you don't know anything about culture so this is a worthless right, conversation but, right now. so let's just talk about last, something different my last sentence and you can you know tell me i'm wrong and then okay. we'll drop it i think that when p when you interact with somebody on the street if you have more cultural things in common with somebody that you're more likely to get along with each other and if you just extrapolate that out to a nation, I'd rather live in a nation where there is one common culture than a nation where everybody you interact with on the street could have different cultures or something like that. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, all right. Well, what else is going on in here? <laughs> okay. On your mind. Do you? Well, I'm, I'm curious. No, yeah, I'm curious um, about what Destiny's opinion on this whole uh, canceling thing with, you know, it seems like from what I've gathered, there's going to be sort of two camps on this issue, the canceling thing, which is there's the, uh, the, the destiny way and there's the Vosh way. And, uh, you know, I'm not familiar with the whole like destiny Vosh, you know, origin story or whatever, but it seems like the people are falling into two different camps. You know, it's, it's, you know, Vosh has a lot of people agreeing with him that you just basically have to deplatform everybody whose you know views you have a problem with, or else you guys can't have your safe spaces without being offended to say whatever you believe. Um, and it seems like you believe that uh, you know you can just beat people's arguments. You know, you talk about partials and you know it's reveal that they're all lying about their music history, and and that's how you take down right wing people. So I'm curious if you have any you know extended thoughts given that that's the case. Uh, I think if if somebody presents like really bad ideas over and over again, I think you should probably be able to deal with it. Um, and I mean, like if your job is literally to sit on your fucking ass all day and talk about politics on the computer, if you can't argue with people that are to the right of you, I mean, that's pretty fucking pathetic. You should like quit and go play League of Legends or something. I don't know why you would pretend to do a political commentary or whatever. But that's my view. But other people are whatever. Oh, yeah, I Interesting do, stuff. I do want to, because I know you come on and um, these little pop-ons with him, but I do want to actually set up an actual immigration debate with you two um, at some point. Yeah, you can, sure. <laughs> and but there's like, there's like a lot of like, better answers someday, I'm sure. you know, there's it's... like a lot of like, like weird, like there's a lot of intricacies to like crafting certain types of online communities too. So for instance, like anytime you get like really far left leading people in a server, they're going to want to get rid of like all of the moderate left people. Like there's going to be big fights and that's going to happen. Or anytime you get a lot of like traditional conservatives in a server, when people like Groypers show up, they're going to want to get rid of each other as well. Like it's really well, hard. What I, think, hmm? what I think that's happening also is, um, I know that Sanzo said that we... It, when he came in, there was like two groypers and there was still a lot of lefties. Um, and then now it's been flooded. I think what's actually happened is they're used to communities where they're dominated by the left. And if there's a few right wingers, that seems like almost equal to them. Whereas now that now it's getting a bit more equal, like there's still uh, if you go into the server, there's still way more lefties than there are uh, right wingers. Yet it's there's a bit more of a fair chance. So now he's saying that it's been overrun by groypers, which is not true at all. So, um, I don't know. I think that like people don't want to be in this community. They don't have to. But I also don't think that people should be scaring people off and claiming. Is this actually? Is this even true? If say that a server got shut down due to people um, doing anything to it, would that affect the people that are in it? I mean, they're not going to lose their accounts. Um, just, I mean, if they, they, they did themselves. things that contributed to the server getting shut down, there's no, a chance that they no. could be banned. Yeah, it's but just it's, just for being in it, you're not going to. Yeah, it's just there's a lot of um, there's a lot of challenges to getting any type of community set up. Um, and the problem with a lot of far right communities, especially on the internet, is a lot of them tend to be pretty toxic towards other certain types of people. So if you set up like a very, so if we had like a Discord server full of like Mios, the chances are the servers are going to be incredibly hostile towards like gay people, trans people, probably black people, definitely Jewish people, um, or, or like stuff like that. So you're going to have like a really hard time getting those types of servers to work. It might be possible, I don't know, but you have to crack down like really hard on like racist jokes and shit like that. But then generally far right leaning people aren't going to be happy with that. And then you're going to, you're never going to be good with your moderation because somebody's always going to be complaining about it. So I don't know how you balance yeah. that out. Yeah, no, we. But like, we don't care if left wing people say mean things to us. Why don't they just like uh, try to not be so offended? Well, because most Instead people of... draw lines between like saying like a mean thing based on something dumb you've said, like you're a professional musician, versus like being racist or homophobic towards somebody. Like usually people treat these things in slightly different ways. Like making fun of somebody because of something they've said is different than making fun of like an immutable characteristic of somebody. What about English only? Is that cool? <laughs> Uh, I mean, if the language for a server, you can probably set that, sure. How about for a country? Um, if you wanted to have, like, an NA-only server, I, I guess you could, but... Wasn't that some... We, went, we were watching no um, Bosch's 
uh, with Sanzil or whatever. Remember what he said about, okay, whenever you put whenever you put a bunch of different views in one place, then it's going, what did he say, Mio, exactly? Do you remember? Yeah, I mean, he, he sort of said, a, like, I think Destiny kind of summarized it well in that he said, you put right-wing people and left-wing together, it, you know, it's a, like like 4chan, he went historically as no, a good no, example. No, he, he put, no, he said, you put a bunch of uh, mixed views in one space, it's going, to, you're not going to have a good outcome. And I think that's when Mio said, isn't that America? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> he was, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you, you you throw everybody in a bag together, and instead of you know, instead of having mm -hmm. okay, well, I disagree, you have disagree a disagreement. We have a you know a formal debate with a topic at hand. You know, maybe that can be productive. But if you just have a bunch of people who all disagree on it with each other on a bunch of things and throw them in a bag together and shake it up, it's not going to be a good outcome. And it's like, well, that's what that's what we are doing with America right now. But, well, I, but yeah, you know, but I that's because we don't have like a process by it. which to do like our disagreements. But that's because we have like. There's there's a lot I I blame the internet but I mean like there's a lot of problems <laughs> yeah, with, with like figuring out disagreements. So the problems too is that like our the the polls have grown like so 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 far right and left in terms. So it's really hard to find any common ground. Like I, like I consider myself to be more willing to bridge to the most. It would be really 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 hard for me to find common ground with somebody like Big Papa Fash. It's unlikely I would have any common ground with somebody like Mio. So like so and and I'm somebody that's way more willing than most people to try to like meet people where they are. So if you're like anywhere to the left of me or or have trouble like reaching out to people that have like insane views or whatever like th there's just no way and then people are very far to the left and very far to the right on the internet so it's very hard to get into those communities to work together yeah no i i largely agree with that i think that oh you samantha know, uh, banana BPF, said you can invite her to this if you want to Brittany. i think bpf is uh much closer to your views than i am and uh you know everyone on the right wing should think about that long and hard well, yeah, that's because BPF isn't like a race realist and probably not an ethno-nationalist, which I'm pretty sure you are, even though you say But I'm not. not. I'm literally not an ethno-nationalist. You're I didn't somebody that, that wants to preserve whatsoever. the white majority of what the United you States. You're somebody that has talked about the demographic change of the country and how that ought to be avoided. You're somebody that wants to restrict but immigration. But that's not the definition based on the of ethno-nationalist. Sure, so, so like, we'll call it a destiny ethno-nationalist for my own special words. edition. What do you, You're uh, a racist because you play League of Legends, and I just made up my definition for it. Like, listen, you, you know, know what? We have to use words like at the, as the definition. If you want to malign League of Legends, players i'm not going to sit here and disagree with you most league players probably are racist so based okay <laughs> all right based um so i'm gonna ask the i'm gonna ask chat if we should allow her to come on because i feel like somebody is trying to get us shut down and is trying to um i am a little hesitant it's like why that. would why would banana not just come on and shot yeah, a bunch of slurs uh, to break tos yeah, to get right, the channel get taken the out down. Uh, i don't hear people banana's the one who's been in chat trying to, to spam slurs in chat in order to get the stream gonna, taken right, so I'll talk to somebody if she is is not on, on, so I'm, I'm gonna allow her to come on for a little bit um i i don't know if i'm gonna regret this probably better keep or, destiny here yeah, yeah i'm just hanging out stay. no of course Destiny's gonna stay for this just moderating don't worry going anywhere yeah, this should actually be interesting. I bet there could be a good conversation between Banana and Destiny that's uh, been much needed to happen for Sanzel's sake, at least. Wait, well, I, torn, wait why would I talk? I'm, I'm, wait, over. hold on, wait. I'm friends with Samantha. It's not like I haven't talked to her about any of this. What do you mean? Right, but the thing is, Samantha, uh, it's a, Banana believes in doxing people, and uh, Banana is believes in canceling people that you disagree with, that have views you know, that are, are problematic or whatever. Banana is the one who, has, who was driving what Sanzel was saying to you the other day. And, and so it's like, what, if you were you know sort of educating Sanzel on like what what your belief is about all of this it's like who you really should have been talking to about all this is banana instead actually hmm. you're a yeah. fucking right, statistician so... hi everyone oh what's wrong with your mic wow that was loud yeah remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed <laughs>